Okay, Dean's next. He says, I'm used to linking PBNs and other links to money sites, and I'm used to the time frame it takes to show progress. My question is, if I was to link the PBNs and others to a single PBN and link it to my money site or my IFTTT network, uh, one branded ring that links to my money site, what difference in time frame is there for progress, etc.? Just that I'm scared to spend money linking to a PBN or IFTTT to find that it takes much more time slash money to get the effect showing on the money site's ranks. Thanks, guys. Um, there is a little bit more of a delay between at least... It's not always the case, but most of the time, unless you have an unusually powerful link that you find and you point it to a buffer uh, site first, um, in which case you can see results very, very quickly. But for the most part, whenever I'm building through a buffer site, so I'm building links to a buffer site that links to my money site, I find that it's a slower effect on the results than if it's a direct link to the money site. But I don't mind because it's safer. It's a safer approach that way. And so um, I don't have a specific timetable like because I know it varies. And again, it depends on the strength of the links that you're going to be pointing to the actual buffer site. If it's a particularly powerful link, you should see a result, an effect much quicker than if it's a, you know, a, a standard strength link or, you know, a, a weak link for that matter. So it really depends. Um, but yeah, I don't have, I, I don't know that there's a specific formula for that. I, I've, I've never made enough detailed notes to be able to determine that if there is. Do you guys have any input on that? Well, it used to be like if you po if you pointed a PBN link to a website or a web page, it used to be, you know, it used to be like maybe one to two weeks tops, you know, but now things are getting slower because uh, Google is rolling out updates every month. And you need to have in mind also, Dean, that if you get like a really powerful backlink and you point it to uh, a website or you you get a 301 for example uh, and you 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 get a nice drop from blue, blue chip backlinks and you point it you, you 301 that to a website to a web page uh, there's a high chance that you will get the exact opposite effect that you were looking yeah it'll and drop we'll, yeah, yeah you will see a drop and that um patent from from Google you know I think Marco shared with us or, or something like that you know and there's that's on purpose as well it's you a know, trap. Because, yeah. yeah be, because if you will panic and go back and eliminate the link and that's exactly what they are aiming to to do you know to to trigger that fear quote unquote and that's exactly why you wanna take it easy on PBNs I've seen better results like better results I mean like slower results but more consistent in time like for example right now if you point a link to a, a PBN link to a website um, you can see maybe on three weeks maybe four weeks you you can yeah. see uh, you can see a, a bump but then it slowly starts to go down again you know because it's a dead link it doesn't have any social signals any social interaction any validation anything now when you do that through an IFTTT network maybe it takes longer but the results are more consistent in time because you're going through a buffer that has high DA, high trust flow, whatever. Right. So have that in mind, you know. Um, if you're in a rush, uh, do PPC, <laughs> you know, yeah. because otherwise you will be messing up with your rankings uh, That because that's exactly what Google wants to do. So. Yeah, I, I spoke about these two effects or I wrote about them back in, uh, back in December. Both the Google Dance and what I called back then the death of the PBN, right. which which is exactly what you what you're showing. If if you buy a uh, just a website that's out there in the middle of nowhere and all it's doing is providing a link back to another website, then it's obvious what the the, the purpose for that that website that you purchased, and so that that's going to atrophy over time. It's going to lose power over time. The way that we've overcome that now, Bradley does it a specific way but another way to overcome it another way to show social signals or whatever is to drop an IFTTT ring especially if it's really powerful and get those social signals going get get curated content going throughout that that's related to whatever it is that you're pointing the link to and then all of a sudden it becomes that much more powerful yeah. when you do that when you start link building that's when the Google dance w might kick in not always but it does. And when it does, you can't do any type of link building. You have to leave it alone. You can't undo it. You just have to leave it alone for, for at least 21 days. 
to see where it's going to settle because it'll start. It's called the dance for a reason. It'll move up. It'll come down. It'll move up. You know, it, it, it's Google teasing you. Look, look what's happening. And of course, we as as SEOs tend to panic unless you know what it is that you're looking at on that on that ranking graph. If, when you see that dance, you know. I'm not touching. I'm just going to go and produce content and do everything else that I usually do. I'm going to leave it alone for 21 days, to, or so which is three, maybe four weeks, until it settles back to it to it to whatever position Google is going to determine that it deserves. And that's when you decide the next step to do. Now, if, now we're talking about a time frame of a, of at least a month from the time that you buy your PBN and you point it at your property and it starts dancing before you can do any other type of link building to the property or else you kill it. If you get sandbox permanently, that, that, you know, that's it. It's all over. You're not yeah. going to move past wherever it is that, it, that it's dancing. In that general range, that, that's where it's going to stay. And it's just Google's way of, of, of killing or, or one of the ways of killing PBNs which, or catching SEOs, right? They, they, they spring the trap. And all of a sudden, you're sandbox, and you don't know why. You keep pushing, and you keep pushing, and you keep triggering the, the, the Google dance until you get permanently sandboxed. That's right. The other thing you can do, which is it, it's been working well for me too now for f several months, is also um, like for example, when when Marco said that I do it a different way because I don't build PBNs anymore. I just build rebuilt uh, expired domains so that I don't have to worry about producing content at all anymore. Um, and something that works fairly well with that too is because we're we're losing the ability to attach an IFTTT network and publish consistently, which gives that PBN site and and uh, what I call a private link network site because I'm not using it as a as a blog anymore. It's not a private blog site if I'm not blogging on it, right? It's a private link site. Um, and so since I don't create a blog on those domains anymore, I'm not publishing content and I don't have an IFTTT ring around it so I'm not triggering all those or providing all those single signals that Google wants to see so there's a, a hack a workaround for that that I've been doing which is using crowd search because then at least I send traffic signals through the private link network, the, the rebuilt aged domain that I purchased I send traffic through that link to my money site or to whatever site it is that I'm linking to and that that that's those are traffic or engagement signals. So even though it's not getting the social validation and everything else that a PBN site would that would have an IFTTT network around it, I'm still giving the engagement signals by sending uh, traffic through that through the links from that private link network site. So that's another option. And um, yeah, and uh, in case you guys are, are haven't seen the webinar we did on how to do all that kind of stuff, referral traffic using crowd search. If you just do a search on Google for crowd search twenty uh, demo twenty sixteen, you'll see our video at the top. And I did an hour long webinar specifically about how I use crowd search for uh, referral traffic, and it's a um, very very powerful method.